And now, in token that your hearts are joined together, take each other's hands. Curtis, this woman whom you hold by the hand is to be your wife. She's given you one of the most sacred things under heaven, a woman's love and a, and a woman's life. You may bring her great joy or cause her deep sorrow. It is not what you bring her in a material way that will make true happiness. Riches without love are nothing. The gift without the giver is bare. The practice of those virtues, um, the practice of virtues as a husband that you've shown her as a lover will keep your heart one to you. Do you vow here, as you promised Shannon, that you'll be true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? Shannon, this man whom you hold by the hand is to be your husband. On your life, your love, and devotion, he will lean for strength and inspiration. He's going to look for you for encouragement, for cheerfulness and confidence. No matter what the world may say or think, people may forget him, lose confidence in him, and turn their backs upon him, but you must not. May your life and your love be the inspiration that will constantly lead him to greater dependence upon our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you vow here, as you have promised Curtis, that you would be loyal in adversity, ministering to him in affliction, comforting him in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? All right. Curtis, please repeat this vow to Shannon after me. I, Curtis, take you, Shannon, to be my friend, be my, friend. my lover, the mother of my children and my wife. I'll be yours in times of plenty and in times of want, in times of sickness and in times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow, in times of failure and in times of triumph. I promise to cherish and respect you, to care and protect you. remain with you until this life is over. Shannon, please repeat this vow to Curtis after me. I, Shannon, take you, Curtis, to be my friend, my lover, the father of my children and my husband. I will be yours in times of plenty and in times of warmth. In times of sickness and in times of health. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of failure and in times of triumph. I promise to cherish and respect you. To care and protect you. To comfort and encourage you. Stay faithful to you, and to re remain with you until this life is over. Now we're at the hard part. It's my understanding, Curtis and Shannon, that you have written vows for one another. Curtis, would you like this story? Shannon, over the last couple of years, we've been dating. <laughs> I've had a lot of growing up to do. There have been moments that have tested our relationship and moments that have raised questions on whether we should continue dating. If it weren't for those tests, our bond would not be as strong as it is. I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind, <clears throat> God has placed you in my life, and I'm truly the happiest man alive. You have taught me the importance of being confident. <clears throat> confident in myself, in my life pursuits, while placing your own needs second to mine. You're the most loyal, selfless, and giving person a man could wish for. Not to mention, you're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> 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 Thanks. 
fortunately God placed you in my life, and by His grace I have this wonderful day with friends and family to officially say that you are my wife. I make this vow to you that I'll be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. With that vow comes my responsibility to be a loving husband who's willing to put your needs first. Which is the least of what should be required of me given the fact that God gave me such a wonderful treasure. I love you so much. All right, and Shannon, you have things you want to say to Curtis? Curtis, over in these last two years, we've been together. We tested our strength of love and our patience for each other. And we've been together for three years. We've been together for Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> you know, would you, uh, I'd like to make a, a prayer of dedication for these two and, and the vows that they've made to each other. If you join me in prayer. Dear Lord, as we listen to the vows of commitment, love, and promise, I pray that you seal them in Curtis and Shannon's heart. Give them the unwavering commitment that can only be found in a marriage that's centered in grace and Christ. Teach them daily how to love and forgive each other, just as you've loved us. Amen. All right, I understand that we have some rings. <laughs>